I think one of my biggest insights was the fact that some of the thoughts that uh, uh, we have around our desire change for system, uh, working closer together across different sectors, uh, those same thoughts and messages were being resonated right across the room. And I think that was very reinforcing to the fact that we're all in agreement, the health system needs to change, and we do have the power to be able to support some changes, especially after today. We're, we're more aligned than what we thought. Um, I think one of the other greatest aha moments was uh, we as, um, as professionals, we um, rely upon our best practice guidelines, nursing order sets to drive best practice. And they certainly are meant to inform best practice. Uh, one of the challenges is making sure we always have the patient and their families um, wants and needs to really drive forward what we're from our practice perspective. Uh, we have great um, quality-based procedures to support uh, specific pathways of care, um, but with cr uh, chronic conditions, um, some of those pathways, um, ju they're just not good frameworks. They are contraindicated. So an area of research that we really need to focus on is how we uh, knit all of those best practices together so that we truly are using evidence to inform uh, our practice um, in order to achieve those patient-based outcomes. I think there needs to be a concerted effort um, supported by the ministry, uh, or rather led by the ministry, in being able to um, demonstrate the ability to scale a new structures and frameworks that can help to drive better patient outcomes. And so the ministry has uh, initiated, um, you know, through an expression of interest, six demonstration sites to support quality-based procedures, which are more um, acute care-based. Uh, similarly, the ministry needs to invest in um, some demonstration sites that are able to be scaled around primary care to community innovations that really drive and support patients who have chronic conditions. Um, so we need to come up with these new frameworks in this next year of a transformation. And um, this is the time people are prepped for change. We need to be able to drive and test and evaluate um, how good we're doing in that, that process of change.